What's up guys, Jesse with Hunt Performance. Today I'm working on this Hobart G261 welder. Again, let's get going. If you guys remember last time I worked on this, got it started, got it running. Well, it's been a little while. I got sick, was busy for a month, went out of town, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I'm back and we have a new few things. I need to get this welder running because I need to fix a trailer for my stepmom. But like we said last time, we had no coolant in this thing and we had um, really no way to weld because I didn't have any leads. Well, I got coolant and I got leads. So the first part we're gonna try, we're gonna put some coolant in this thing, see if we can get it to not leak and start, and then see if we need to buy any more parts. And then I'm gonna hook the leads up and get some work done. But if you guys like this stuff, check out the links in the description, support the channel, like, subscribe, and if you haven't subscribed, you should, and hit that notification bell in the corner because it helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. And I wanna grow this channel because if you like welding or trucks or cars or Pretty much anything mechanical, you're probably gonna see it on this channel at some point. So, let's get into it. Like I said, the first thing we're gonna do is put some coolant. I did find the correct cap. It's from a John Deere One tractor. I'll put an Amazon link in the description below if you guys want this cap. There'll be a couple other links down there too for you guys. But I did find the correct cap. It's just a John Deere One uh, radiator cap. Like I said, link in the description for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump some coolant in here and see if we can see any leaks. I'm sure there's a leak because it doesn't have any in there, but I don't know. So I got some uh, full, some full, uh, full strength heavy duty antifreeze I'm gonna dump in here. Got some red antifreeze. Look for some leaks. Like I said, I don't know how much antifreeze it holds. And uh, so I'm gonna put a couple gallons in. Then I'll go grab some water. I'm already making a mess. But a little mess never hurt nothing. Don't have any leaks so far out of there. Well, it's full, so probably need to turn it over a little bit. So I got a battery hooked up. I hope it's not dead. I'm gonna try to turn it over and see if it will start. I don't. I don't know if it's going to. Uh, go ahead and give it a little. The overflow works. I don't know if this battery has any juice. Alright, I don't think this battery has any juice. I'm gonna uh, pull the pickup up. I gotta move a bunch of junk. So I'm gonna pull the pickup up. We'll come right back. I'll get this thing, try to get it jumped off. I have to find a better screwdriver.
One thing I forgot is on this old thing because it's gravity fed with the fuel. If you don't turn that fuel off, it will flood the carburetor and you won't ever get it started. So I turned it off last time and I haven't turned it back on yet. So now I got the valve on, so we should be getting some fuel there. charge and then we'll come back okay I'm back let's try it again. I did go ahead and try to apply some choke I need to get a new choke cable this one's pretty gummed up but it's got about half choke too
old girl still got it. I need a little practice. It's gonna turn up the heat and try again. because I spilled enough of that ATF, not ATF, antifreeze. Come in here, turn the fuel off. Okay, fuel's off. Now we're good. A welder ran really, really good. Um, it welded really, really good. It's so these old transformer engine drive welders are so smooth. I was lucky enough that I got to weld on like a 68 SA200 when I was in welding college, uh, you know, four or five years ago um and so like i know these old welders are awesome this hobart g261 is doing great for me so far uh i do have a few things little things i'm going to order uh cap rotor spark plugs spark plug wires stuff like that i'm going to be getting those things in a little over time uh i don't appear to be losing any antifreeze at this current point i could be losing a little but i'm not really sure because i spilt a bunch of it and it's getting on the exhaust and steaming off uh, but I'm not really sure if I'm losing any welded really well uh, super like I said super smooth uh, Tomorrow in the morning. We'll be right back tomorrow Same video tomorrow. I'm gonna get this trailer fixed and uh, We're gonna use the old Hobart G261 but got the fuel shut off got everything put away for right now for tonight and uh, yeah, we're gonna come back in the morning and Get this trailer fixed. So we'll see you guys in the morning Whoa, welcome back next day Weld here I got. Uh, first thing, I'm gonna try to get the welder started, obviously. And then this is the trailer we're working on. We're working on a little piece down here for the slider door here. Not the slam door, but the slider door right down there is busted. So we're gonna work on that. But first, turn around and try to get this welder started. I'm gonna try a new tripod today to see if I can keep the camera from vibrating as much as it did yesterday. And um, yeah. Like I said, I'm going to try to start this. I hope this battery has enough juice to do it. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with a little choke. Turn on the gasoline. So, a little choke. Gasoline. Okay, a little choke, a little gasoline. Battery power. Let's see if it's got any juice. I don't think there's an 
enough juice to get it started. So I'm going to flip the pickup around and jump this off again and then uh, yeah, get us get us started and let it warm up.
not perfect, but uh, definitely a lot better and a lot sturdier than was there. So I'm gonna go ahead and drive over to the house so I can get my drill, my drill hole in that little pipe for that pin to go down in, or for that little tube, and then it'll be all fixed. But uh, yeah. There you guys have it, another Hobart G261. I'm gonna get a list of parts like a clutch cable, an oil filter, a distributor cap, spark plug, spark plug wire, stuff like that. Also, I think I'm gonna run some uh, head gasket seal in here because it seems to be using a little, which is unfortunate. Also, I gotta get some parts for this hood because I have two different screws and it's not working right. Um, anyway, Hobart's running good. Uh, we're gonna get this muffler flipped around, or the tailpipe flipped around too because it's gonna go on a bit of a pickup. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description to support, support the channel and my feeds on Instagram and stuff like that. I really appreciate it. Thanks for stopping in, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment if you haven't, and come back for more videos. I've got 2019 Ram 2500, 50,000 mile review coming up. And oh my goodness, so many ranch projects to do. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'm Jesse, this is Hunt Performance. Check out my other channels, links in the description. We'll see you next time. Thank you.